Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Natty, and today is grocery day. It's grocery haul number 37. 37 of 2024. So if you didn't see my last grocery haul, um, I started adding fruit and vegetables to my diet. Um, I'm trying to eat a little healthier. So that being said, um, I did buy some stuff again today that will be for a healthier week. So let me show you what I got. So here are the things I picked up at the Frugals discount store. Um, I went in there for intentions just to get some coffee and well, there wasn't much in the freezer that was there. There was nothing. There was barely any freezers that had stuff in it. If it did have stuff, it was boxes of pepperonis, but I didn't want pepperoni today. But I did pick up a few things, so let me show you what I got from this grocery haul. So I picked up some of this extra lean ground beef again. And I picked up the medium. Uh, these were $3 a package. I tried it when I made my cabbage rolls, and it was really good meat. So that I picked up again for $3 a package. I picked up my chocolates again. I always do when I go there. A dollar a bag. I got the caramel. I got the peanut butter crunch and another peanut butter crunch. No sugar added. I got a diet cola for today and a diet ginger ale. 50 cents a can. So I was completely out of coffee. So I picked up this Folgers Blonde Silk. A 60 or 641 gram container for $5. So we have coffee again. So the total for Frugal's discount store cost me $15. So I did look in the flyers yesterday and I didn't find anything interesting that I wanted. Everything was really pricey and all pretty much um, not on sale. But there was a couple things that I did pick up that were on sale today. Um, and I'll show you what that is. Today I went to the Food Basics, and this is what I picked up. So we got that fermented multigrain bread again. Um, I think that was a little pricier this time. If I am correct, it was $4.99. I think it was $4.49 last week. Just a little bit cheaper, but I just like this bread. So <laughs> $5 it is. Like I said, the prices are going up, and there's not many too, there's not many sales. And you're limited on what you get now, it seems. So bananas, bananas, 107 for one, two, three, four, five bananas. Five bananas. So I picked up some cauliflower because I'm thinking of making something with cauliflower this week. Maybe a cauliflower crust to make a cauliflower pizza. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But 188. Now I finished this off yesterday on my stir fry, my cabbage stir fry that I made. The Dijon Old Style Mustard. Delicious. Now, it wasn't on sale, but it was $3.99. So I picked up this one. This mustard here. It's French's. Jay loves French's mustard. This is a honey mustard. And that was $2.49. And and here's some garlic. Now, usually when I buy garlic, I forget about it and it goes bad by the time I actually get to it. So I bought this puree garlic in a jar. It's very useful for my recipes. And that is... So that is $2.88. And uh, it wasn't on special. I remember I used to get this for $1.99. Like... Not this brand, but small jars like this for $1.99. Can't get that anywhere. Not for that price, anyways. So I got some condiments. Like, you know, uh, Heinz sweet and sour sauce, some barbecue sauces, some soy sauces for free. My mom. She saves them for me. So that was free. She gave that to me today. Uh, sour cream, sour cream. Now I'm thinking about 
using sour cream this week when I make my uh, sweet potatoes. So I'm thinking about making some sweet potatoes and mashing it up. And so yeah, one ninety nine for a gaily sour cream. One ninety nine for gaily sour cream. The smoked salmon cream cheese product. So this is cream cheese and it's made with real salmon. This was two ninety nine. So that I want to try with this multi grain bread. And I do have some cucumbers left in the fridge. So make some cucumber sandwiches with some of that salmon cream cheese. Now sweet potatoes. I I was curious about this. They don't have anywhere to weigh the produce anymore. None. No scale. So I didn't know how much it was going to cost me. But for two sweet potatoes, it says here $3.89. But look at the size of these. Like that's in a meal in itself. Like you put a little side with that, you know. So that's what we're going to use this week with the sour cream. Stash Moroccan Mint Green Tea. Now, green tea would be great for us because we're trying to wean down from the coffee, not have coffee as much and as, as often. Um, so I seen this in a reduced cart. One ninety nine. I've never tried the Moroccan mint, but for one ninety nine, sure. I'll pick that up. Now I saw this in the freezer section. I've never seen this before. It's, um, walk style mix. They had an Asian mix. They had a, uh, few other kinds and this was the one that I wanted to try out so this one here it's 349 so I'm gonna cook that up this week make a nice little stir fry I got some um uh chow mein noodles and I I think I have some chicken in the fridge I could use up or in the freezer I could use up so that will be for dinner sometime this week so I picked up some strawberry and banana and cranberries that are frozen because the fruits that I wanted this week were not on special. But these were. So $4.44 a bag. And they're, they're pretty big bags. 600 grams. 600 gram bags. 600 gram bags. So for $4.44, I can make those parfaits again this week with the yogurt. So I bought this bag of coleslaw. It was $2.50. It was two for five, but I just bought one. Um... So I'm going to take half the bag, use it for coleslaw, and half the bag for a warm meal or a hot meal. So I'll make something with that for dinner this week. And I got my chopped salads again. Um, this time they were not reduced. So they were for... They were for... $4.98. So they were four ninety eight each. I got the Chipotle and Cheddar, Double Dill, and Barbecue Ranch. Now it has everything I need in there. It has all the dip, oh not the, dip uh, the salad dressing, all the vegetables I need. So I don't have to go out and buy all those expensive vegetables that are not on sale right now and make a salad. This is nice and easy. I put it in the bowl, mix it up. It's ready. And it's a meal for me and Jay, right? So that's going to be three meals this week that we're going to add maybe some, some meat from my freezer. So either chicken or beef or something. And that will be something we'll have for this week. So uh, this week I picked up the naturally flavored cherry sparkling water and the peach sparkling water. So that is what I'm going to be drinking uh, as a treat this week. I usually typically drink water. Um, we drink tea and we drink uh, flavored water or sparkling waters like that. But uh, yeah, that's what I picked up this week. So those were 99 cents each. And that is grocery haul number 37. So let's tally that up. So the total today for the food basics was 70.20 and for frugals was $15. So the grand total for today's grocery haul is 8520 8520 There we go much better
sometimes I think that uh, buying frozen is a little more expensive, but sometimes buying frozen is a little cheaper. Right now, the vegetables and fruits are kind of high in price. So fruits especially, there was no strawberries on special. Uh, there was no oranges on special, nothing like that. So I just picked up this, the strawberries and banana, because I could do a whole bunch of things with that. And that's probably going to last me two weeks. Because uh, we'll do our fruit bowls with that. I might add some of that to like pancakes or something, you know. So, that being said, woo, is ever bright. I'm going to be eating healthy again this week. And so is Jay. Um, we're starting to incorporate more walks in our day. And time to get to the grind, I guess, eh? But anyways, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for joining me today on my grocery haul. Be sure to come back again. I'll have another video soon. I'll try to cook something up this week. I'm going to try up that um, easy style mix wok. I'm going to try to make something with that. And uh, yeah, usually, like I say, if I'm not making a video, it's because it's just a simple meal that, you know, not really worth recording. Maybe a sandwich, maybe a soup, maybe something that you opened up with the can and just ate with the spoon, you know? So yeah, if I'm not making a video, that's probably why. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye for now.